to get down to some uh, cold, cold hard journalism again and I feel that since we are joined by Ireland's most stylish sportsman, uh, Andy Lee, it's only right that I present to you now the top five GA accessories of all time. We're talking Kieran Whelan's giant gloves, we're talking Joe Dean's tiny helmet, we're talking Jerry McInerney's white runner boots. Now all of these got votes from our viewers online but unfortunately none of these got into our top five. So let's get straight in at number five. It's John Mahon's rugby shorts uh, on the sideline. Like Tiger Woods' red shirt on Sundays, it just wouldn't have been a summer Sunday in the mid-90s if John Mahon wasn't out showing off his pins. Legs immaculate, tan sensational, waistband intimidatingly high up on the stomach. Look at poor Sean Boylan there looking on jealousy. How could he compete with such raw GA sex appeal? Now uh, cigarettes might seem like an unlikely number four on our GA accessory list but back when Jim Tracy was lifting Lee McCarthy in 1967, you couldn't be seen without one. It's literally like a crack of cocaine to the boys there. Even if you'd just been part of a team that had won in Ireland moments before. Now, times have of course changed. Uh, first it was the players, then it was management, a member of Kilkenny's backroom team, mastering the no-hands cigarette smoke, exhaling cleverly through his nostrils there. And now the only people allowed to get away with, with any of that sort of thing are the match officials. I love that he's just putting his lighter away as, as the player near him. You can't be seen with a lighter in your hand. Some people might think you're not taking your job seriously. Uh, number three on our list is, of course, one of the most iconic looks in Irish sport. It's Pat Spillane on World Superstars in 1979. Can you pick the Irishman out of this trio of sports people? Have a good look, everyone, because that's what you look like on holidays. Uh, lovely kicking action, though, in fairness. No doubt impressing his slightly more solo skin fellow contestants. Once all US TV interview obligations are complete, he'll be off to get some Factor 75. But wait a second, who's the cool dude rocking the yellow cap? Doesn't Jimmy McGee look every wow. itchy? Debonair international man. And by that, of course, I mean he looks like every Irish dad on holidays in Spain ever. Dos cervezas, por favor. Now, at number two is Colm O'Rourke and his massive signature knee bandage. So many of you got in touch with us about this. But there I was watching the 1987 All-Ireland Final, waiting to see this gigantic bandage. And hold, hold on a minute, is that actually that big, is it? Fast forward to the 1994 Leinster Final. Oh, yes. There it is. It looks like the most draconian prison tag ever inflicted on a criminal. It connects thigh to calf, so let us all hail Colm O'Rourke's robo-knee. So who has the honour of owning the number one GA accessory of all time? No one will ever forget it. It just had to be Mead's legend Trevor Giles and his sleeveless keep pack jersey. In the summer of 1999, youngsters from trim to screen did the Giles, and Trevor is still the only man to win all Ireland without sleeves. Sure, he looked great, but why did he do it? People speculated that it was after a trip down under, under and Trevor was more comfortable in the Aussie rules type jerseys. We decided to find out. We sent a second captain's camera crew to Trevor's hometown this week to find out the truth. And if I know Trevor like I think I do, uh, I'd say the reason for the sleeveless key pack jersey was 100% all to do with the football. The reason for the sleeveless key pack jersey has absolutely nothing to do with the football. I actually got the idea after watching a replay of Pat Spillane and World Superstars from 1979. I'd never seen a farmer's tan shown off so well. The red vest, the milky arms, the red face. He was looking fairly slick. I chopped the sleeves off with my own scissors in the house. The boys in the mead dressing room did slag me off, but to be honest, the ladies loved it. Certainly got me a lot of attention in the Vortex nightclub in Dunchotland after matches anyway. And yeah, I'd still wear it from time to time down the local. Hey lads. Christy, uh, pina colada and whatever the lads are having here. Jeez, <laughs> Trevor. It's yourself. Ah, Morph. How are you doing? I like your style. Jeez, you're looking well. Yeah, you've been working out. You're more than yourself. Good man. Cheers, Morph. Ladies and gentlemen, our new favourite game footballer of all time, Trevor Giles, please. 